Well, good evening. Praise God. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. I am Pastor Alvin White. And this is my lovely good wife, evening. Pastor LaToya. Good evening. 
and welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. It's our Wednesday night midweek service Bible study. Glory be to God. Are you ready for the Word of God? Are you ready to get into this? Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, let's see. Praise God. We want to welcome every single person. We want to open up in prayer. Honey, you want to open up in prayer as we just uh, get right into this. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we just bless you and praise you tonight, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Yes. Today is the day you've made, and we rejoice yes, to be glad in it today. Yes. Father, thank you for this opportunity to teach and preach your word to the people, Father. We thank you, Lord, as the word goes forth tonight, it goes forth unhindered and unchecked by any outside demonic force. We decrease so yes. that you may increase none of us and all of you. Thank you. We thank you Lord, that as the word is sown, it is sown on good ground. Yes. Father, they hold on to it and apprehend it. They focus and lean in. They bear fruit and their fruit remains. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we want to welcome everybody. Just a couple of quick announcements. We want to welcome our first time visitors. Amen. If you are watching here for the very first time, we know that you're not here on accident, but you are here on purpose. So we welcome you. We are here on some Wednesday nights, uh, we're not here on the first or the second Wednesday night of the month. We're here on the third and the fourth, and if there is a fifth Wednesday night. Yes. Uh, but we want you to, uh, we want to welcome you. We want you to visit our website at empoweringword.net. You can find out more about uh, who we are. You can also download our free Empowering World Christian Center Church app. It's for Android and Apple users. You can download our free Empowering World Christian Center Church app. You can uh, watch our live stream services there. You can read the Bible. It's a Bible app as well. You can keep up to date with different events. You can give through the Empowering World Christian Center Church app. So a lot of different things that you can do through the app. Also, we want to make sure that you have our, uh, we have your email address. Make sure that Empowering World Christian Center has your email address so you can be included in our EWCC uh, newsletters that come out on Mondays and then Thursdays. Uh, we want to make sure that you have the Monday edition and the Thursday edition as well. So uh, you can email us at ewcc.office at empoweringword.net. Also, honey, this Sunday, something very, very exciting with the kids' ministry. Yes, this Sunday, Super Kids and Vertical Kids Church are going live. They yes. have been virtual for about a year. So this Sunday, June 20th, the children get to go back to the children's ministry. So um, we're excited about that. And I'm sure that the little ones are excited to go play with other little ones. Yes. Amen. Amen. And before we get to the Sunday, Friday morning is coming up, which means it's Friday morning prayer meeting. We are praying every single Friday morning at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. We want you to like and share it. You can like and share this meeting as we are live streaming on Facebook and Instagram right now. You can share it. Yes. Go ahead Love and do and so. Share. Love and share it. Send it out. Put it out there. Um, but we are um, going to be praying this Friday morning at 7 a.m. Glory be to God. And, uh, honey, we have some merchandise. We have EWCC merchandise as well. Yes, we do. We have EWCC merchandise and apparel. We have uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts, sweatpants. We have mugs and we have stylus ink pens. Mm -hmm. um, uh, these very nice stylus ink pen. They have a stylus on the tip for your tablets and your smartphones. And um, really heavy duty. They're really nice. And, um... We have a mug. Uh, yep. My mug is over there. Yep. We, we have really nice. Rena, can you grab my mug? I'm going to grab the mug. Can you grab my mug. Yep. We have really nice mugs. They're real, um, we have uh, these don't have, I don't have my top on it, but mm -hmm. you see I've been drinking my tea. They're really nice and they don't have handles. They don't have handles and they just go. That makes it convenient yeah. if you have like a car uh, yeah. cup holder and yep. stuff because sometimes the mug, the handle will prevent it from, prevent being, it from yeah. sitting in there. So they sit nicely mm -hmm. inside of your car, uh, car armrest and you know if you have those seats that have 
in your house that have the little holes in there. They sit nicely inside of there too. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, these are available on site. The mugs and the pens are available on site at the church. And when you order the apparel, mm -hmm. um, it is shipped directly to you. So those links will be available um, on the church Facebook page mm -hmm. and on our website. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, Rena. and this Sunday is Father's, Father's Day. Day. Glory be to God. It's Father's Day Sunday. This Sunday, we have a very powerful, special word for you that's going to bless you and bless fathers. And uh, it's going to be uh, very, very refreshing. It's going to be great. So you don't want to miss that. Praise, Praise be to God. God. That is this Sunday beginning at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. In person, you can come on in. Glory be to God. And also, you we will be live streaming on Facebook and YouTube as well. If you cannot make it in person, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to go ahead and receive our tithe and offering tonight. We're going to go ahead and receive it. As you know, Empowering World Christian Center, we believe in the tithe and the offering. We believe that the tithe is holy before God. We believe that the tithe belongs to God and that you bring the tithe because it already belongs to the Lord. We bring the tithe to the Lord and we believe that the tithe is the 10th, the 10%. Um, of what we go out, God has blessed us to earn and 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 do business and and gain, and so the tenth belongs to the Lord, uh, and we use the tithe. The church uses the tithe to move the gospel forward, and we also believe in the offering. The offering is whatever the Lord puts on your heart to give. You can give at our website at empoweringword.net. If you go to the website, you can click on the Give tab. You can give that way. You can also give by downloading the free Empowering World Christian Center Church app. You can give through the app as well. We are so grateful and thankful for all of our faithful uh, givers, all of those that give tithe and offering. Praise God. We thank you very much as we move forward the kingdom. And so I say this in the name of Jesus, Amen. be blessed. Proverbs 10, 22 says the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and has no sorrow. We declare that you are blessed. We declare that every need is met and that you are living in the realm of desire. And according to Psalm 37, 4, that you have delighted yourself in the Lord and he gives you the desires of your heart. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Praise God. Who do we have on tonight? Who do we have on tonight right now? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, good evening. B. Huey. Eddie and B. Huey. Good evening. Praise God. We see Rhonda Herring, Elders Levi and Dawn Jones, Marsha Wright, Elders Robert and Tracy Carr. Hello, Princess Rena, Javon, Henry Robinson. Good evening. How are you? Uh, Carolyn Berry, how are you? God bless you. William and Gretchen Hudson, Dollar Bill, God bless you. Elijah and Alyssa Braddocks, good evening, good evening. Elders, Stephen and Rochelle Taylor, oh, wow. all the way um, from Puerto Rico on yeah. vacation, glory be to God. Hey, Dwight and Carolyn Moss, good how y'all doing? Good evening, praise God. See you, Dollar Bill. Yes. yes, Elder Tracy Carr, yes, good evening, good evening. Elder Rochelle, yes. Mary Bolden, hey, Patricia Taylor, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. And yes, yes, Erica Tucker, how are you doing? God bless you. And many, many more people that we uh, unfortunately can't see everybody. So we say hello to everybody. Hello. Auntie hello. Rose, God bless you. Yes. Hello to everybody. We want you to like and share. Let's get into this word. Honey, I'm going to turn it over to you because you're going to start us off. Glory be to God. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Praise God. We left off uh, Sunday yes. with uh, the remnant, our disciples of Jesus Christ, disciples abide in the Lord. This is Remnant Rising Part 12. Part 12. This is Remnant Rising Part 12. Glory be to God. So we left off with, uh, with just encouraging and empowering everyone with uh, abiding in the Lord and what that looks like as a disciple of Jesus Christ. And we're 
talking about the remnant, remnant rising, and the remnant are disciples mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And disciples abide in the Lord. Okay? Yes. So we have gone over uh, five parts of that. We've gone over five parts of that to endure, to accept without an objection, to remain stable, to continue in a place, to conform. And the last part is to live and dwell, mm -hmm. to live and dwell. Um, Romans 8, Romans 8, verse 5, says, Those who live according to the flesh have their mindset on what the flesh desires. This is the NIV. Mm -hmm. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. Mm -hmm. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law nor can it do so. Those are those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. So as a disciple of Jesus Christ, as the remnant, we are to live by the Spirit of God. Amen. We are to abide by living by the Spirit of God. So we have a choice. We can abide in the flesh. Mm -hmm. We can live in the flesh. We can dwell or stay or reside there. And when I say flesh, I mean the unrenewed portion of our soul. Yes. As we, the, if you remember the step before this, it is to conform. We're to conform to the word. Mm -hmm. And so if we're not renewing our mind, mm -hmm. we'll reside and we'll stay in the unrenewed portion of our soul. Yes. And we'll live that out. Right. But disciples, we live by the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. and we set our minds to live by the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, we set our minds there. When I think about set, I think about how I just I set my water bottle mm. down, mm -hmm. and it's and it's staying there, mm -hmm. and so, it's not going to move until you move it. Yes, yes, it's not going to move until I move it. Mm -hmm. So that's the same for us as uh, as disciples of Jesus Christ. Yes, when we set our mind, we set to live. By the Spirit of God, you have to be intentional mm -hmm. about your mind staying there. Yes. And we do that by taking our thoughts captive, mm -hmm. okay? You know, the mind that is governed by the Spirit is life and peace. Mm -hmm. So, again, that is an intentional thing. We are intentionally setting our mind to be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. So, when I think about that... That is something that when you wake up in the morning, it is an intentional thing to do, to be led by the Spirit of God. It is an intentional um, action to be vigilant. You can be led by so many different things. Oh you can gosh. be led by social media. You can be led by what's in the news, what's on TV. You can be led by your friends. You could be led by family members. You could be led by... Just carnality in your mind, the unrenewed portion of your soul. You could be led by so many things. And what you said is you have to be consciously and intentionally um, aware and focused to say, hey, I'm going to be led by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And that does not come by accident. That no. comes by intention. Just like if somebody woke up and intentionally went to work. Yes. If somebody woke up and intentionally went to their place of business, where they do business at, their own business, whatever mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. if somebody woke up and intentionally went to school, mm -hmm. that would, uh, nothing's going to stop them from getting there because they are intentionally doing that. Right. And so when you and I say, hey, you know what, I'm waking up, praise God for a brand new day, it's a brand new morning, it's a brand new uh, opportunity to serve the Lord. Yeah. I'm intentionally setting my mind on the things of God and I'm intentionally saying, I'm going to be led by the Spirit of God today. Yeah, you know, it has to be something intentional because, you know, we can't, um, we're not, um, as a believer, we're not um, um, out of control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the devil can't make us do anything. Right. And so any action that we set forth to do, it is what the scripture just said. is because we set our mind mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. And so as a disciple, we are to reside, mm -hmm. have this residence in um, 
in the word. Mm -hmm. This is the best way that I can explain it. Mm -hmm. Is it is an intentional thought process. Yes. So when you you know you have all these things facing you throughout the day, you know you may have to go to work and you got your children and you you have your spouse and then you have your health and you have your finances and then you you have yourself and the things you believe in God for. All of those things you have to intentionally. Uh, set your mind to look at it through the lens of mm -hmm. being led by the Spirit of God. Right. You know, you have the news coming at you. You have conspiracies coming at you. You got the things going on with the pandemic. All of those things, you have to have an intentional mindset that you're going to look at it through the lens of the Word. Mm -hmm. If not, you could be led by a what we call a carnal response mm -hmm. or a carnal approach. Yes. You know, or a carnal thought process. And so, example, if you have a business decision to make, okay, as a disciple of Jesus Christ, our first response, our initial thought process is to be led by the Spirit of God. Because mm -hmm. like it says, those that are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Mm -hmm. And so, but you have to intentionally set your mind on that. You have to have a um, a spiritual fortitude inside of you that your life is going to be centered around what the Lord wants you to do. Amen. Okay? And so, when you go on to read that, you go to verse 12. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation... So disciples, as disciples of Jesus Christ, we, in our heart, we're obligated to the Lord, to mm -hmm. live our life for the Lord. The word says that we live and we move mm -hmm. and we have our being yes. in him. Yes. And so then it says, but it is not to the flesh mm. to live according to it. For you live for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, discussing a spiritual death first. Right. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Mm -hmm. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are what? Children of God. That's it. So disciples of Jesus Christ that are led by the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. we're children of God. We're children of God. We're children of God. Everybody is created by God, but not everybody is a child of God. And yes. it really is our choosing. Yes, it is. Because God... He, he has opened this up to everybody. Mm -hmm. And it really is our choosing on whether we decide that we want to be a child of God or not. Yes, it is. And um, the remnant, as we teach the remnant rising, and mm -hmm. we're talking about being a disciple of Jesus Christ, what it really, really, really comes down to is your life being devoted mm -hmm. to live for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And like we were saying on Sunday, when people hear that, mm -hmm. they think, oh, I'm going to go into ministry and I'm going to be preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. And that's not always the case. Right, right. You know, your life being devoted for Christ, the goal of your life is to please him. Mm -hmm. And so those are every area of your life. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean just preaching the gospel. No, no. You you don't have to be a five-fold no. minister to devote your whole life to the Lord. Yeah. You, that's, that's. You know, devoting our whole life to the Lord, that's the standard. That's the standard. That's the standard. Whether you are called to be a rocket scientist. That's right. Whether you are called to be a an attorney or a doctor or you're called to work in, uh, you know, you know, medicine field, whatever medicine uh, field uh, area or, or uh, finances yeah. or or retail or whatever, you can have your life devoted to the Lord. Yes, you can. And um, what can happen if we are not intentional about our life being devoted to the Lord and mm -hmm. being centered around the Lord, mm -hmm. it'll be centered around other things. Mm -hmm. It'll be centered around people. Mm -hmm. It'll be centered around um, children. It'll be centered around your husband and your wife. It'll be centered around people. Right. And all of those things are great. It's great to be married. It's great to have children. It's great to have a career. Mm -hmm. It's it's great to have money. Mm -hmm. It's great, you know, but our life, the foundation of a disciple's life is not centered mm -mm. around that. Mm -mm. If it's centered around anything else, 
but our relationship with God, all of those other things can dictate the outcome of our life. Mm, that's good. That's good. And then we'll be led by those things. Right. And um, we'll be led by money. We'll mm -hmm. be led by people and their opinions. We'll mm -hmm. be led. And then our soul will become double-minded based on the opinions of people, the mm. affirmation mm. of people, Amen. the approval of people, the abandonment rejection of people. Everything will be based and centered around if this person loves me or likes me. Mm -hmm. This person speaks to me and they don't. And um, it can really damage and rip our soul mm. and our soul can become fragmented right. if we are not rooted in 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 and grounded in who we are in, in Christ. I put something on social media today, and it said that um, you know uh, our validation doesn't yes. come through man. It doesn't come through man. It comes through God. Yes, God it does. is the one that validates us. So we have to stay pure. We have to stay authentic. We yes. have to stay in the vine, as yes. what we were talking about on yes. Sunday. Stay in the vine because. He, he is the true vine. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. And we are the branches. And he said, without me, you can do nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without the Lord, we can now, do Now, hang on for a second. He says, without me, you can do no thing. But don't you see people doing stuff without Jesus? Yes. So God doesn't consider that success. Success right. is obedience. Good. Success is obedience, whether you draw a large crowd or not, whether you have a lot of spectators, whether you make a lot of money, whether you have a lot of fame or fortune. Success is your obedience to God. Success yes. has nothing to do with the outcome. Success has to do with the obedience. Yes, oh, glory be to God. That's Somebody good. get that in your heart. Success has to do with your obedience to God. Because Jesus said, without me, he's speaking of himself, without me, you can do no thing. But there's a lot of people doing stuff and they don't have Jesus. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people that are doing stuff and they don't have God at all. They don't even acknowledge God. They're not submitted to That's the Lord. Right. They're not uh, devoted right. to the Lord. They're not yielded to the Holy Spirit. What you're talking about, yes. they're not waking up intentionally being led by the Holy Spirit, right. but they are doing stuff. And Jesus is saying, listen, I don't even put that in a category of success. Yeah. Without me, you can do nothing. I, he puts that in the category of nothing. Yes, that's so good. That's so good. Success is your obedience to the Lord. Whether yes. anybody claps for you yeah. or says amen for you or, uh, you know, flags you down and say, wow, good job. You did a great job. Whether anybody even notices it or not. Yeah. Success is your obedience to the Lord. It is. It's your obedience to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not setting your mind on the spirit, it's difficult to be obedient to the Lord because mm. you'll be a person will be obedient to everything else. Yes. And they can be led away out of their um, assignment mm -hmm. by having other things be in the center of their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. basically what it is, those things can become their God. Yes. That's what yes. happens. Yes. Um, uh, it becomes their, their comfort. Mm -hmm. It becomes their security. Mm -hmm. And instead of, Seeking the approval and mm -hmm. the obedience of the Lord. Amen. You know, so the remnant, the disciples, we set our mind on living for the Lord. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a remnant rising. We're talking about people that are saying, hey, I am going to be a disciple I'm of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to just play church or do the church yes. thing or have the church title, have the Christian title. Yes. And, 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 yes. but I'm going to actually be a disciple. Yes. I'm going to actually abide in this word. I'm going to actually follow the Holy Ghost. I'm going to actually get into this word yes. and live this word. I'm going to actually make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm submitted to God. Yep. And allowing him to work on my soul, allowing him, I'm going to be about the father's business. Yes. God is raising up a remnant that are doers of the word and not hearers only. 
Yes. And so how do we know that? Because in these last days, yes. that's what his word spoke about. Yes. And I want to show you something. Go to yes. 1 Samuel because we talked, uh, we, we, we went here in 1 Samuel on uh, Sunday. And we read in 1 Samuel, we read, um, and we read where the prophet Samuel had passed on. And we read where David had fled to the land of the Philistines mm -hmm. from King Saul. Because remember, King Saul wanted to kill David. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we read that uh, the Philistines, um, uh, Achish, uh, had given David the land of Ziglag. Mm -hmm. Gave him Ziglag. So David lived in Ziglag. And we read where King Saul had driven out all of the mediums and the spiritists. And we also read where the Philistines had threatened King Saul and the children of Israel. He had threatened the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. And so now we also read where King Saul could not hear the voice of the Lord. King Saul could not hear the voice of God. And so how he, um, he we talked about it, Urim and Thummim, the Bible talks about, that wasn't working for him. Yeah. And the prophets. That wasn't working for him. Mm -hmm. So what did King Saul do? Uh, King Saul was deathly afraid. And so he tells his servant, hey, I need to find me one of those mediums and those mm -hmm. spiritists mm -hmm. that, that I drove out of the land of Israel. Find me one of them. And so he goes to Endar and he consults a medium or witch, uh, the witch of Endar. Mm -hmm. And so the witch of Endar, he asked the witch of Endar to perform a seance, see? And the witch of Endar performs a seance in order to bring up the prophet Samuel. Mm -hmm. Because out of King Saul's desperation, he wants to bring up somebody who knows, he knows, had a direct link with God. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. the prophet Samuel. Mm -hmm. So the prophet Samuel, uh, the witch brings up uh, you know, the prophet Samuel, because remember, he's in Abraham's bosom. Mm -hmm. Remember, there was Sheol, and the Bible says that the, uh, the, um, the, the, um, the witch or the, the medium, she, uh, of Endor, she says, I see a man coming up out of the earth. Mm -hmm. Remember, when people died, they went to the center of the earth, uh, which was called Sheol. And half of it was Abraham's bosom, and the other half, was more of a place of torment, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, the the prophet uh, Samuel, he's in Abraham's bosom, and God allows this seance to take place and brings up the prophet Samuel. Mm -hmm. And the prophet Samuel tells King Saul this. Mm -hmm. He says, hey, why did you bring me up? What What's going on? Why mm -hmm. are you bringing me up? Mm -hmm. And the prophet said, and so King Saul says, hey, listen, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. um, the Philistines are threatening. They're saying they're going to attack. Mm -hmm. And I've tried to pray to God. I've tried to ask mm -hmm. God. I've tried to, you know, the prophets can't. I can't use the Urim and Thummim. All that. Nothing is working. And he's desperate. Wow. And so Samuel says, listen. You are in trouble because the Lord has left you. Yeah. Remember that thing about, you know, Agag, you were supposed to kill the Amalekite? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. He said, just like I told you then, yeah. the Lord has torn the kingdom from you. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. And he reminds King Saul yes. of that whole situation. Yes, yes, yes. And the yes. Lord has departed from you. He gives the kingdom to David. That's yeah. what Samuel says. And he says, you're in rebellion from the Amalek situation. And he says, tomorrow, glory be to God, you and your sons will be dead. Yeah. In other words, he says, they're going to be with me. You, you guys are going to be with me tomorrow. And he says, the Lord will deliver the army of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. 
And that's what he said. Yes, this is a this is a bad this is a bad report. Yes, it is. I mean, King so you you hired a psychic, a medium, a witch to tell you some bad news. That's yeah. what King Saul, that's what he did. So here's then that leads us to first Samuel and uh first Samuel um chapter twenty nine. Mm -hmm. And I just want to summarize it just for sake of time. In Samuel, uh, first chapter, uh, first Samuel 29, 1 through 11, you can read it for yourself. What happens is, is that the Philistines begin to gather around Israel and get ready to make war on Israel. And what happens is, is that the leaders, the military leaders of, uh, the Philistines, they see David and they say, Hey, yeah. what is David doing? We're not trying to, you know, fight with David. And Achish tells David, hey, listen, the lords of the Philistines, they don't want you fighting with them. They don't want you to come and fight. And, and David's like, hey, I, I don't have a problem. I, I will fight with you. Mm -hmm. And he says, no, no, no. The lords, the, the, the military leaders uh, don't want you to be a part of this at all. They want you to go home. So David... He goes and packs up his things and he goes home. In fact, if we look at verse 11, so David and his men rose early to depart in the morning to return to the land of the Philistine and the Philistines went up to Jezreel. Now let's go. We're going to do some reading. Let's look at 1 Samuel chapter 30. Look at verse 1. Now it happened. So David had left Ziglag. He had left his home. Mm -hmm. Now it happened. When David and his men came to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag attacked Ziglag and burned it with fire. Okay. Now this is while David is away. Mm -hmm. Look at verse two. And had taken captive the women and those who were there from small to great, they did not kill anyone, mm. but carried them away and went their way. So David and his men came to the city and there it was, burned with fire. I'm pretty sure they could still see some parts burning. They could see the smoke. Burn with fire. And their wives, their sons, and their daughters have been taken captive. Jesus. So here it is. David is going. He had left with his men to fight in a battle. And to fight against Saul. And here it is. While he was away, the Amalekites came yeah. and burned his city. And took all the women and children. Yeah. Look at verse 4. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives, Anna Noam and the Jezreelites, Jezeelites and Abigail, the widow of Nabah, the Carmelite, had been taken captive. And David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him mm. because the soul of all the people were greed mm. every man for his sons and his sons uh every man for his sons and his daughters but david strengthened himself in the lord his god mm. so what happens is is when people are stolen from every thought will come oh when hear the word of the Lord, what does David represent? David in the word of God is a type of Christ. Woo! Glory be to God. David represents the word of God. When people of God are stolen from, mm. one of the first things they want to attack is God Himself. That's that's true. God, why did you allow this? That's they true. want to blame God. That's, That's what true. happens when That's people true. of God are stolen from. That's true. If people of God are stolen from, 
one of the first things they want to do is they want to attack the very thing that can help them. That's true. So I want to encourage you today. I want you to take a step back. Have you been stolen from? Mm. Think about the year 2020. Mm. The year 2020, have you been stolen from? Even in 2021, time, money, mm. time with loved ones, mm. time with friends and family, mm -hmm. time with uh, things that you would like to do, moments. Did, did you have people that were, that were stolen? Yeah. You know, maybe people died, people that were close to you, things. What happened is in 2020, the enemy stole. Woo, glory be to God. We're about to get somewhere. Yeah, that's good. Have you been stolen from in your life? Maybe it had nothing to do with 2020, but the, the enemy. Because we know that in John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so what happened? The people are distressed. Their souls are distressed. And so now they're not even thinking straight. And so now they want to stone David. Why? They're saying to themselves, if we had not left, we would not have been stolen from. Jesus. Okay? All right. Now look at this. But notice David strengthens himself in the Lord. I want to encourage you today you got to learn how to strengthen yourself in the Lord. Yes, sure. That's why it says in Ephesians, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. you got to be strong in your mind concerning the word of God. That is how you strengthen it. We've been talking about it. you got to dwell in the Lord. you got to dwell in the word. you got to abide in the word so that you can have the ability to strengthen yourself. Because the enemy may try to come in, but when you are strong in your mind concerning the word of God... He will not have the victory. Glory right. be to God. Now listen to this. Verse 7. Then David said to Abith Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's uh, son, please bring the ephod here to me. And Abiathar brought the ephod to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them without fail. Amen. Recover all. Amen. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord. The remnant that God is raising up. The remnant that God is raising up are people that will pursue the stolen things. Woo! Glory be to God. They are people that will pursue the stolen things. Oh boy. He says, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, pursue, for you shall surely overtake them Without fail. Amen. I'm here to announce to you tonight that there are things that the enemy has stolen and maybe he didn't steal it from you specifically. Mm. Maybe he didn't, per he didn't steal it from you intimately. But you know that you can see something that the enemy has stolen. And God is going to have the remnant call it out mm -hmm. and pursue it and overtake it and without fail recover all. Amen. Oh, somebody better hear me. Somebody hear, That's somebody good. hear me. Somebody hear me. Because a thief is a thief. That's a thief. And it does not matter if you stole from me personally. If I know you stole it, I can see the injustice and God has given me diplomatic powers mm -hmm. to declare it be returned to its rightful owner. Amen. Glory be to God. That's good. That's good. Look at verse nine. That's so good. David went, he and the 600 men, how many? 600 men who were with him came to the brook Bazor, 
where those stayed who were left behind. But David pursued he and 400 men. So what happened? The, the amount of the army decreased. It went from 600 to 400. Mm. For, but David pursued he and 400 men. For 200 stayed behind who were so weary that they could not cross the brook Brazor. So what is that showing you? That is showing a remnant. Glory be to God. Then they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David. And they gave him bread and he ate. And they left him, they let him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. So when he had eaten, his strength came back to him. For he had eaten no bread nor drunk water for three days and three nights. Mm. Oh, glory mm. be to God. That is symbolic. Come on, somebody. Mm. That is symbolic of a time frame. The number three. Okay. I don't have time to get into that. All right. Now, then David says to him, to whom? Oh, glory. The Egyptian. Oh. He was weary because he had not eaten. He got his strength after three days. This is symbolic of a resurrection moment. Mm. Glory be to God. What I'm saying is, is the remnant is going in resurrection power. Oh, boy, 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 boy. boy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that you are called to go. In the same resurrection power that Je the same power that raised Christ from the dead. This Egyptian is representing Christ being resurrected. He had not eaten for three days, had not drank anything for three days. When he had eaten, his strength came to him. Now he's about to give David the information that David needs. Yeah. Now he's about to Tell David yes. and his men where to go. I can lead you to the... Oh! Yes. Jesus is about to lead you to where the spoils are. That's good. Yes, 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 that's good. That's Woo! Good. Glory be to God. Watch this. Watch this. That's good. Verse 13. Then David said to him, To whom do you belong? And where are you from? And he said, I am a young man from Egypt. Servant of an Amalekite. And my master left me behind. Because three days ago I fell sick. Mm. Oh! Mm. He just happened to fall sick three, three days, days ago? ago? Come on somebody. Mm. He just happened to fall sick three days ago? Let me know. Let me tell you this That's is good. God's prophetic agenda. This is God's prophetic agenda. God knew mm. that David was going to be on the trail of the enemy. Mm. God knew. That David was going to pursue and he was going to uh, uh, overtake and without fail, he was going to recover all. Mm -hmm. So this Egyptian servant just happened to fall sick and he is the remnant that is left behind wow. so that David and the men would catch up to him. Woo! Verse 14, we made an invasion of the southern area of the Cherethites in the territory which belongs to Judah and of the southern era of Caleb and we burned Ziglag with fire. Wow. And David said to him, can you take me down to this troop? So he said, swear to me by God that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master. And I will take you down to this truth. Glory mm -hmm. be to God. And when he had brought him down there, they were spread out over all the land. They were spread out over all the land, eating and drinking and dancing. I'm here to tell you, yes, the enemy may have some of your stuff, he may be dancing and enjoying it and rejoicing. 
They were eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil which they had taken from the land of the Philistines mm. and from the land of Judah. Then David attacked them mm. from twilight. Woo! There's something supernatural about that time. Mm -hmm. I can't even get into that. Mm -hmm. But he attacked them at twilight until the evening of the next day. Not a man of them escaped mm. except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away and David rescued his two wives and nothing of theirs was lacking. Somebody say nothing. Nothing. Nothing of theirs was like. Come on, somebody say yeah, nothing. Nothing. He would see that word. Jesus, glory be to God. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. That word peace means shalom. Nothing missing. Nothing lacking. Everything restored. restored. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes. God wants to restore your time. Yes, he, he wants to restore your mind. Yes, he, he wants to restore your finances. Yes, he, he wants yes, to restore yes, your relationship. He wants to restore yes. everything. Restore everything. Every nothing lacking. Nothing missing. Nothing lacking. Yes, nothing missing. I declare over you in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of here. With neither the smell of smoke, says Lord. Glory be to God. Woo! Somebody help me preach this. Glory be to God. He says, So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. And nothing of theirs was lacking. Either small or great. Nothing was lacking. Yes. So if the Amalekites stole his pen Come on. that was on his dresser, yes. he got the pen back. Listen, you, you better itemize. Come on. Itemize anything the enemy stole from you. You are to recover it all. He said, either small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which they had taken from them, David recovered all. Mm. I'm here to announce to you the enemy can't even destroy what he's stolen from you. Glory to God. I know it says a thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but the enemy cannot even kill and destroy anything he stole from you. Why? Because God has given it back to yes, you. Yes, Lord. This is your year of winning yes, 2021. Yes, Lord. And you are going to win as a disciple yes, of the Most High God. Yes, Lord. Say I win. I win. Say I recover all. I recover all. Say I overtake. I overtake. Say I pursue. I pursue. I pursue. I, pursue. I, overtake. I overtake. I recover all, I recover all. Without, fail. without fail. Without fail. Because the Lord God. Almighty, Almighty is, with is with me. The Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, Almighty is, with is with me. In the name of Jesus. Now give God a shout of praise for him. Glory be to God. I recover all. I recover all. I recover all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Ha <laughs> ha, glory be to God. Yes, you recover all yes, in Jesus, Jesus' name. You recover all. Yes, Jesus. The remnant that God is raising up. Yes, Lord. They shall pursue. Yes, Lord. They shall overtake. And they shall recover all. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The remnant that God is raising up. They will pursue. They will overtake. And they will recover all. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. There are some things that God is going to show you. He's going to open your eyes. Yes, He's going to open your ears. Yes, Lord. You may already know what it is. 
And he's going to say, pursue that. Yes, Lord. Overtake it. Yes, Lord. Mm, and recover all. Yes, yes. There's yes. some things that aren't even yours that were stolen. Mm. They don't even belong to you specifically. Mm. But God's going to have you pursue it mm. and overtake Bless you, and Jesus. recover all. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. Now, you, this is for the remnant. And this is for disciples. You, and you're going to have to encourage yourself. You're going to have to encourage yourself like David did. You're going to have to yes. encourage yourself in the Lord. Yes. You are going to have to put on the whole armor of God. Yes. That you may be able to withstand you, in the evil day. Yes, you Lord. are going to have to yes, be strong in your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Concerning God's work. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Did you get something tonight? Amen. Did you get something tonight? Amen. Glory be to God. Listen, maybe you're watching this tonight and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're away from the Lord. Maybe you're away from the Lord. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. I want you to be born again. I want you to be back in the fold. I yes. want you to be... Under the shadow of the Most High. Yes. I want you to dwell. Pray this prayer with me. Say, dear Lord, thank you for your love. Your amazing love and grace. You love me. And so I want to tell you this. That I love you. I turn away from the world. And I turn toward you. Forgive me of all my sin. Wash me and cleanse me. Make me whole. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. Help me to be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Glory be to God. If you prayed that prayer, all of heaven is yes. rejoicing with you. Yes. And we are rejoicing with you. And we want to know who you are contact the church let us know so we can help you in your discipleship walk with the lord yes. glory be to god hallelujah you get something tonight amen say i will i will pursue pursue overtake overtake and recover all and recover all in the name of jesus yes. glory be to god glory be to god glory be to god amen. now listen we're going to be here Friday morning yes. at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Pray. Why? Because prayer is essential for the disciple. Yes. Prayer is critical for the disciple. The remnant that God is raising up are people of prayer. Yes. So we're going to be here Friday morning, 7 a.m. And then Sunday, we're going to have a special Father's Day service. You don't want to miss that. Glory be to God. It's going to be a great, great, great service. Praise God. Praise 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, the kids ministry, Super Kids and Vertical Kids Church are going live that day. Yeah. Praise God. Praise Honey, God. you want to say something before we go? Uh, man, that was powerful. That Praise was powerful, God. powerful, powerful. Uh, pursue, overtake, and recover all. Mm, 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 and, mm. Um, you know, what I heard is... Uh, recover in the area of their emotion. Mm. 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 Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You will recover in your emotions. Amen. You will recover in your soul. Yes. Father, bless these people Thank as we Jesus. go. Your grace is sufficient for us. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. Your blessing is upon us. Yes. Your angels are watching over us yes, and protecting yes, yes. us. Your glory is upon us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for health and healing in yes, our bodies. Yes, Lord. Health and healing in our soul. Yes. Deliverance Thank in our Jesus. soul. Jesus. We see what you want us to see. We hear what you want us to hear. We say what you want us to say. We go where you want us to go. We declare it so. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Why don't you like and share this? Well, I can share this on Instagram. Like and share this. Send this out. Send this out. Like and share. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Linda Tripp and Mrs. Nancy One. God bless you. God bless all you. these people. Uh, all the people on Facebook Live. All the, those that we didn't see. God bless you. We God love you with you. the love of the Lord. Good night. God, Have good a great night. evening. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.